Hey folks, it's Woody here at USA Made Blade and gonna do something a little different. I wanna share a little bit of the history of how uh, the ZT-0308 came to be with us and uh, the, especially the stars and stripe stuff that we do on it and why we continue to do it so much to this date. And I uh, thought today was a good day uh, with it being Memorial Day to, to get this video knocked out for you guys. Uh, so the history goes way back. So we started our company technically in 2011, uh, if you can believe that, uh, end of 2011, beginning of 2012. But it was, and we're still, don't get me wrong with what I'm saying in this video, we're still a very small company. But, uh, but back then, 2012, this was a hobby. Uh, this was, this was not, uh, something that I ever intended to do as a career, uh, and, and never to the level that it's turned into. Um, but when we started, we, we knew uh, ZT has, had a very strict, and right as we started, ZT put in, within a, six months of us starting the business, they put in a MAP policy, which is minimum advertising pricing. And they, it was a very strict, you had to sign this agreement to be a dealer with them. And if you were gonna sell their knives, you couldn't sell them below a certain price. And all the dealers were supposed to obey that. And so we stuck with it. And I think other dealers kind of went behind the scenes because it's their way of looking at it was, hey, it's not advertising if we if somebody emails us and we say, hey, here's here's how you can get it cheaper. But we stuck to it. We thought there wasn't a, we didn't want to find a shady way around it. So what we started doing was anodizing and customizing henders. And at the time, I learned I taught myself how to anodize. And it was literally just taking like, you know, a, an old ZT, let's see here, I've got my knife case out, something like a ZT0456. And instead of just having that that plain tie on it or that stonewashed tie, we would anodize it blue or bronze or purple or whatever. And it kind of set us apart. We, we'd do it all, we wouldn't charge extra, which anybody back then was doing anodizing, was charging an arm and a leg for it. Uh, so we'd do it all and we wouldn't upcharge. And that kind of helped start get us moving a little bit. I really started taking it more serious in about 2015. And we had always sold the ZT-0301, uh, which was their beast of a knife. And it's on a torsion bar. So it, oof, sorry, just about cut my finger there. Uh, it's got the torsion bar, so it's the speed assist. And, um, and we sold these okay. But finally, about 2016, we made a really big investment and we bought a laser. And, uh, and guys, it was a lot of money. Lasers have come down way, a whole lot in price over the past eight, nine years. So we buy this laser and, uh, and we start experimenting with it. We're doing some pretty cool stuff with our anodizing, but we're still not exploding. We're not taking off. And then eventually, uh, I took a 303 or a 301, one of them, and did the stars and stripes on it and holy crap it took off and we couldn't keep them in stock i was ordering and waiting for new shipments and about the time it really took off and people were wanting it zt turned around and discontinued the 300 series the 301 300 301 302 303 uh all were discontinued and we're like oh crap so i was like man we were just getting going uh, and, and it helped. We'd gotten a bump. Well, then crazy enough, uh, about 2017, ZT had some more that they had finished up, but they didn't want to distribute to dealers. So they sent them to one of their wholesalers. And we, I happened to be looking the day they launched them and I bought every single one I could afford. And we got those in and we started doing the stars and stripes again. And guys, I was ordering another and back then I was so broke, I didn't have the money to risk it, but I, I, I eventually it wasn't a problem because they were selling so fast. So I was ordering another 100 to 200 every week and, uh, and did that for months. And then it went away again. And that time it stayed away. And man, I was bummed. I was so bummed because that knife was just put in the sky high. And, uh, but still to this day, anybody sees that, and they know we did it. I mean, there's nobody else that was, there were other people trying to do it, but nobody was doing it that turned out like this. So, uh, 
So everybody kind of uh, would see that through social media, mostly on forums a lot. There was a lot more forum work going on back then. And they, they knew that it was our work. And, and Or they'd ask and people would immediately comment and be like, oh, USA Made Blade did this. So go forward, you know, Radio Silence ZT's putting out different models. Uh, the 456 came out at some point in time. It was a big boost for us. We pushed that knife really hard. And then lo and behold, I think it was about 2020. Uh, it was, I think before, I'm pretty sure it was before COVID started. So it was early 2020. And lo and behold, they come out with the ZT-0308. And it comes out with this, uh, this Coyote brand. We still, we still sell that today. And then they also had the Tiger Stripe, which I, if I remember correctly, the Coyote Brown with the uh, Stonewash Blade came out first. And then the Tiger Stripe came out second. And when that Tiger Stripe came out, we, we went right back to work. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, so we've had a guy going on over a five-year run of these now. And we're still doing them. We don't do them as often. I mean, they, we, and we do, certainly aren't doing hundreds of them every week, but we'll, we'll run a, about three, four, five batches a year. Um, and they just, it, it's, it, they always sell out. I mean, it, it, sometimes it takes a few weeks. Sometimes it takes a month, depending upon how many we do. But, you know, we do a, a decent number of them when we get them in. It's just easier to do them in a decent amount of batches. So with uh, today being Memorial Day, we've brought the, Tiger Stripe ZT0308 BLKTS uh, back, and it is absolutely beautiful. But, you know, with that, when we got it, we've started doing some of the the um, uh, the regular 308s, and then now it's the factory series special that we have, and we're doing Battled Stars and Stripes, which has also kind of become synony synonymous with us. And lasering all that on, doing the anodizing, getting that green color. And these all turn out beautiful. Uh, this one's gonna look a little bad. It's also backwards because of the camera, but we do We the People on the Blade. This one's mine, it's fingerprinted up pretty good. And then stuff like the uh, the Battle Bronze um, on this Factory Series Special. But we've also done them on others. And then we got, at some point, LMF Joe got involved, who's always been a friend of mine, and the customized handles. Uh, so we've had some micartas and some some really cool uh, carbon fibers and some wood scales and things like that. And we're just constantly able to modify and, and customize this knife. And it's been a true blessing for us. So if you ever wonder why we promote it so much and why we talk about it so much, I think it's because there's a lot of history there. But it's also a knife that we truly love. I, this one's my own personal one as well. I carry it, pretty much been carrying this one every day since I lasered the, this green Stars and Stripes. But uh, it's an amazing knife, and it's had a lot of history with us. So that's it. Just a little something that you probably didn't know and maybe didn't want to know. But, uh, but anyway, I appreciate you all watching. We've got some really cool 308s in stock right now, so I hope you'll go over and check them out. They are available at usamadeblade.com. And as always, we appreciate you watching.